AWS Certified Solutions Architect. Associate SAW C03 exam is designed to validate your ability to design and implement scalable, secure, and cost-effective solutions using AWS services. This exam covers topics such as networking, storage, compute, security, database, and application integration. By passing this SAW C03 exam, you will demonstrate your expertise in AWS architecture and earn a globally recognized credential that can boost your career prospects. 1. A solutions architect is migrating several Windows-based applications to AWS that require a scalable file system storage for high-performance computing, HPC. The storage service must have full support for the SMB protocol and Windows NTFS, Active Directory, AD, Integration, and Distributed File System, DFS. Which of the following is the most suitable storage service that the architect should use to fulfill this scenario? A. Amazon S3 Glacier Deep Archive BAWS Datasync C. Amazon FSX for Lustre D. Amazon FSX for Windows File Server 2. A multimedia company needs to deploy web services to an AWS region that they have never used before. The company currently has an IAM role for its Amazon EC2 instance that permits the instance to access Amazon DynamoDB. They want their EC2 instances in the new region to have the exact same privileges. What should be done to accomplish this? A. Duplicate the IAM role and associated policies to the new region and attach it to the instances. B. In the new region, create a new IAM role and associated policies then assign it to the new instance. C. Create an Amazon machine image, Amy, of the instance and copy it to the new region. D. Assign the existing IAM role to instances in the new region. 3. An on-demand EC2 instance is launched into a VPC subnet with the network ACL configured to allow all inbound traffic and deny all outbound traffic. The instance's security group has an inbound rule to allow SSH from any IP address and does not have any outbound rules. In this scenario, what are the changes needed to allow SSH connection to the instance? A. The network ACL needs to be modified to allow outbound traffic. B. Both the outbound security group and outbound network ACL need to be modified to allow outbound traffic. C. No action needed. It can already be accessed from any IP address using SSH. D. The outbound security group needs to be modified to allow outbound traffic. 4. A company deployed a web application that stores static assets in an Amazon Simple Storage Service, S3, bucket. The solutions architect expects the S3 bucket to immediately receive over 2,000 put requests and 3,500 GET requests per second at peak hour. What should the solutions architect do to ensure optimal performance? A. Do nothing. Amazon S3 will automatically manage performance at this scale. B. Use a predictable naming scheme in the key names such as sequential numbers or date time sequences. C. Add a random prefix to the key names. D. Use byte range fetches to retrieve multiple ranges of an object data per GET request. 5. A company is using Amazon S3 to store frequently accessed data. The S3 bucket is shared with external users that will upload files regularly. 
A solutions architect needs to implement a solution that will grant the bucket owner full access to all uploaded objects in the S3 bucket. What action should be done to achieve this task? A. Enable server access logging and set up an IAM policy that will require the users to set the object's ACL to bucket owner full control. B. Create a bucket policy that will require the users to set the object's ACL to bucket owner full control. C. Create a course configuration in the S3 bucket. D. Enable the requester pays feature in the Amazon S3 bucket. 6. A solutions architect created a brand new IAM user with a default setting using AWS CLI. This is intended to be used to send API requests to Amazon S3, DynamoDB, Lambda, and other AWS resources of the company's cloud infrastructure. Which of the following must be done to allow the user to make API calls to the AWS resources? A. Create a set of access keys for the user and attach the necessary permissions. B. Do nothing as the IAM user is already capable of sending API calls to your AWS resources. C. Enable multi-factor authentication for the user. D. Assign an IAM policy to the user to allow it to send API calls. 7. A company launched a cryptocurrency mining server on a reserved EC2 instance in US East 1 region's private subnet that uses IPv6. Due to the financial data that the server contains, the system should be secured to prevent any unauthorized access and to meet the regulatory compliance requirements. In this scenario, which VPC feature allows the EC2 instance to communicate to the Internet but prevents inbound traffic? A. NAT instances B. Internet Gateway C. Egress only Internet Gateway D. NAT Gateway 8. A solutions architect designed a real-time data analytics system based on Kinesis Data Stream and Lambda. A week after the system has been deployed, the users noticed that it performed slowly as the data rate increases. The architect identified that the performance of the Kinesis data streams is causing this problem. Which of the following should the architect do to improve performance? A. Improve the performance of the stream by decreasing the number of its shards using the mergeshard command. B. Increase the number of shards of the Kinesis stream by using the update shard count command. C. Implement step scaling to the Kinesis data stream. D. Replace the data stream with Amazon Kinesis data firehose instead. 9. A company plans to host a movie streaming app in AWS. The chief information officer, CIO, wants to ensure that the application is highly available and scalable. The application is deployed to an auto-scaling group of EC2 instances on multiple AZs. A load balancer must be configured to distribute incoming requests evenly to all EC2 instances across multiple availability zones. Which of the following features should the solutions architect use to satisfy these criteria? A. Amazon VPC IP Address Manager, IPAM B. Cross-Zone Load Balancing C. Path-Based Routing D. AWS Direct Connect Site Link 10. A company is planning to deploy a high-performance computing HPC cluster in its VPC that requires a scalable, high-performance file system. The storage service must be optimized for efficient workload processing, and the data must be accessible via a fast and scalable file system interface. 
It should also work natively with Amazon S3 that enables you to easily process your S3 data with a high-performance POSIX interface. Which of the following is the most suitable service that you should use for this scenario? A. Amazon FSx for Windows File Server B. Amazon FSx for Luster C. Amazon Elastic Block Storage EBS D. Amazon Elastic File System EFS